Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We are going to be doing the style that I saw on Instagram and as you can tell me and my client here we're discussing um what like the part in and all that and emphasis on look how much hair she has because that we're going to talk about that later but yeah I ended up pre-parting the back. The back we just did some um simple knotless in the back and then I'm going to speed past the knotless video because I have a lot of tutorials but also I just have to talk about how this style put me through it. I was fighting for my life with this style and I feel like at this point I say that with every video but this style I was truly fighting for my life I really was so the back was easy peasy just some some simple knotless we did them about butt length and then we added some curls at the end but the front that's where my real struggle came in and you you're gonna even see there's some clips where I just, where I just left it in there because I'm like you guys have to see me fighting for my life but it is what it is. It ended up coming out cute in the end. And yeah, just stay tuned. And I'm going to start explaining as best as I can what I did in the front and some of the mistakes I made so you don't make the same mistakes, especially if your client has really, really thick hair like her. So yeah. Okay, so I'm now just finishing up the knotless portion. Like I said, I didn't want to bore you with that, so I kind of just sped through that portion. But yeah, now we're about to get into the real test of the style, and which is like the zigzag. I guess it's kind of zigzag up and down. I don't know what the proper terminology for it is, but I used to do it a lot when I was kid, when I was a little kid, and it was fun. But I didn't do it with extensions. As you can tell here, I added extensions to her hair, but that ended up being a big mistake, especially if you have a client with thick hair. You might need to add some to that very first bottom row because like her hair is thinner there. But as you go up, as we all know, the center of the head is where you have the most head, the most hair. So I ended up making that same mistake of adding hair there and it was just like way too thick and just way too bulky. So definitely don't make that mistake but as I always I left some baby hairs out and after I did that first cornrow before I just go ahead and turn my hand up I always braid straight back first and then I turn my hand up that just makes sure you get that like straight like that like angle that like sharp cut like boom 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 type of thing <laughs> I hope that makes sense and just so it's not just like one curve as you go but yeah so then you can just see that kind of line going straight back if you need to ask your client to tip her head over but like I said try to really assess your client's hair type and how much hair they have because you don't want to make the same mistake of where i took about like two or threes of the i took about like two or three of these out because it was just like i probably shouldn't have added hair here that i maybe it should have added a little bit of hair here it was a whole hot mess and this is one thing that i will always say if you're trying out a new style luckily this is like one of my friends so it wasn't like crazy like that and like she was like forgiven and like it was easy but if you're definitely trying out a new style definitely don't do it on your client because i could only imagine if this was like a client client and it was my first time meeting her it would have been a whole hassle but yeah my whole point is definitely assess your client's hair if they have really thick hair don't add hair in maybe just add hair in to complete the ends of her hair which is what i did and a lot of times you're going to see me turning the hair because i could only add so much little hair without her hair getting really really thick i was struggling to find the hair so i could use it to tuck because i do want this style to last long so yeah it was a whole hassle but i did my best like i said <laughs> Okay, so now onto the top portion i do about four to five sections i believe i'm gonna calculate later but yeah i always make sure that i pre-part just so that each line is aligned with the previous braid because i feel like if it's not not that i feel i feel like i know if it's not in line it's gonna look a bit like wobbly and a bit messy and we don't want that like i said we want the style to look as neat as possible so sometimes i always double check and then after i part i make sure that i flip each other side to the other side just so it doesn't get like tangled up i hope that makes sense so yeah you just see me kind of section it out and also when i'm braiding i don't have to like stop and like then make another part pre-parting just makes it a bit easier and then you're gonna see me a few times here try to add some stitches at some point i kind of gave up i was like you know what let's just make it out alive let's just make it out alive and well with the style so but i did try my best at least on that very first bit to add some stitches just for some like neatness and definition and stuff but yeah <laughs> Again, like
like I said previously, I always make sure that I braid straight back first. So like you said, I had to take it out because it wasn't looking right. So like I said, I definitely had my moment. So if you see that, just ignore that and let's act like it all went well. But yeah, definitely, like I said, definitely make sure you braid back first just to get that straight line before you then turn your hand back up and go the other way. <laughs> As you can see here we just start discussing the braid yeah she's showing it right here because we're just like something is a bit off because if you can tell already that second braid where i added hair it's just way too chunkier already compared to where i am on the third braid and it just was not uniform so that's definitely something you want to keep in mind like the bottom braid was fine and i was able to add hair and get away with it because like i said the place closest to your ear that lower portion is like you usually like thinner and then the center of your head is where you have a lot of hair so then that was just something that we had to discuss. So of course, I had to go back in and take that other braid out to go finish it to make sure that it was uniform. And I'm braiding as tight as possible. Like I said, that middle braid right there, that was all her hair. I didn't even have to add any extra hair. I just added some hair at the end to extend it for the length because we were doing butt length and just to kind of help tuck her hair at the end. I always use jam and I'm braiding very, very firmly because I want this style to last long. But yeah, you're gonna see me. Here's another go at it. I have to go back in <laughs> to fix it again. But I got this. I got it right this time, and I don't believe I added any hair into this section, just so it's uniform. And even if I did, I probably just added towards the end. But like I said, just kind of gauge your client's hair and know when to add hair and when not to add hair. finishing up this braid and as you can tell already it already looks well when my hand moves out the way but there we go <laughs> as you can tell it already looks a lot just more uniform compared to that chunky braid that was there before like you said and it also with it being so chunky it just kind of looked a bit bulky and we definitely just did not want that at all so definitely like I said it looked a heck of a lot better here this way without any added without any added extra hair <laughs>
Okay, so now I'm just showing you the very last braid that I'm going to be showing you. And also, if you can tell, the three braids on her left side, they went down left. And then three braids on her right side, they went down right. I didn't make it all one way because I just felt like that wouldn't look cute. So we kind of decided to just make it three go to the right and three go down to the left. And it ended up cute. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my struggle through this braid. I'm just finishing off this braid. And then I always make sure that I use some jam to smooth out her hair as much as possible and braid very firmly because like i said we didn't add any extensions to the very end but yeah i hope you enjoyed the struggles of me accomplishing the style and definitely try it out and if you have any more tips to make this a lot smoother because i definitely want to give this style another try because it's such like a cute hairstyle to do especially for like summer and vacation and whatnot but yeah definitely let me know down in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you in the next one and oh stay tuned to the end some pictures for some videos of how it came out in the end thanks and bye Thank <laughs> you.